Hello everyone and welcome to Art Smart. I have posted a video about four or five months ago about how to know if you have a real lithograph and I presented that to you guys here and I've had a lot of support and it's been widely shared. However, I have recently been uh, presented with information that has shown that it was not a real lithograph and my information was incorrect. Uh, I double checked this information and the person was correct and so I wanted to make sure that I first apologize that I uh, presented the video with uh, incorrect information. I did exactly what I told you not to do. I looked at the information that was present, prevented, I mean, presented on the back of the uh, lithograph and I believed it. And then I actually uh, looked at some false information on the internet, which uh, gave me uh, the wrong impression about this particular lithograph. I apologize for that. And I have removed that video, uh, even though it was one of my most popular videos. And I want to, first of all, uh, apologize to anyone who may have used that information incorrectly. But I also want to take this opportunity to present you with verified through other means other than myself, uh, lithographs that are real and uh, people that you can contact in order to find out if your particular lithograph is correct. So in, in the upcoming video, I'm going to show you a few of uh, lithographs that have been verified. But again, I wanted to start by apologizing for that mistake. I was not going to compound the mistake by leaving the video on YouTube and having more people confused by it. So here we go. And again, I am very sorry for that mistake. One mistake that I made in my previous video was that I believed that lithographs have used stone for uh, an ongoing period of time in order to make the impression on the paper. Uh, this may have been true at some point, but it is no longer true in modern lithography, and I was incorrect with that information. Uh, lithography was created in 1796, and it was a cheap method of publishing theatrical works. Uh, lithography uh, can be used to print text or artwork onto paper, or other suitable material, uh, to, even to this day. But it used to utilize, in a lot of cases, limestone plates. This is no longer uh, necessarily true, though. In modern lithography, the image is made of a polymer coating applied to a flexible plastic or a metal plate. The image can be printed directly from the plate, uh, and of course the orientation of the image is reversed, or it can be offset by transferring the image onto a flexible sheet, uh, usually rubber, for printing and publication. Uh, if you are under the impression, I think a lot of people are, that uh, using the limestone is the way that lithography is still done today, it is not. And so I apologize for that misinformation, and hopefully this clarifies that, uh, that confusing point. Please know that the information that I am presenting here is from auctionexclusive.com and you can go to them for additional information. And the link, of course, is on this video and I will put it down in the uh, description field. Uh, you are looking at a Carrier and Ives lithograph from 1867. It is called A Brush for the Lead. And uh, this is an example of a real lithograph. Let's talk about a few things that you can uh, do to know if your lithograph is real according to Auction Exclusive. Taking a close look with magnification is your best bet to know if you're looking at an actual lithograph. For the novice and even for experts, according to this website, a magnifying glass is essential to get a closer look at the lithograph. You need to look at least 10 times magnified under glass or even a, a jeweler's loop in order to uh, see the image. A 30% uh, enlarged image is recommended, but 50 times would be really beneficial to the newbie. Specifically, if you are looking for, for how the ink is spread across the paper for lithographs and really all prints, you want to utilize that type of magnifier. A lithograph will look like the image that is shown here. Overall, the softer tones will give the illusion of solid application of the inked areas. Note the blots of ink giving it a soft tone in some places while it's thicker in others. You may even notice some areas of truly solid application when looking at a lithograph. So it helps to focus on areas where solid color and soft tones, uh, the ink blots here, converge, looking at many areas of the print. With time, you will quickly begin to recognize distinguishing uh, features of lithographic use. Uh, there will not be a plate mark, as I had stated in a previous video, which is incorrect. A quick indicator that you might actually have a lithograph on your hands is that lithographs do not have a plate mark, which is the 
indent left by a printing plate as with etchings and engravings. Some lithographs, however, are mounted to paper with a false plate mark, giving you the impression that it is an engraving. Uh, that is why, to be sure you are looking at it correctly, magnification is usually the best method. Lithographs will frequently have a neat line, which is the solid ink border around the lithograph or where the margin margins meet the impression, but no indent should be present. When in doubt, uh, turn to your magnifying glass. These are a few things that you can do to see if you have a real lithograph. Uh, I strongly recommend that you uh, take your lithograph or possible lithograph to a professional who can uh, point you in the right direction. And I'm going to try to put a few links in the description for people that can help you find out if your lithograph is real. Have a great day and make sure you continue to art smart.